सेक्रेटरी प्रमोद एसआर सुनिंदर गीता मैडम कविता एंड माय डियर प्रोफेशनल कोलीग्स आल्सो मेंबर्स जॉइंड वर्चुअली एंड चेयरमैन ऑफ बेलगाम ब्रांच नितिन इंबालकर एंड सेक्रेटरी सचिन एस कटवाड़ी हैप्पी मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर दिस वन डे सेमिनार ऑन आईसीडीएस एंड टैक्स ऑडिट both physical and virtual joint with the belgaum branch i always surprised that whenever we give any options no <laughs> members will make best uh, utilize of that moment if i say physical and virtual majority will go for virtual they will take they totally right no fear. physical presence won't be there uh, okay in the last uh, july we have cut down totally uh, virtual maybe they are taking advantage of now as usual uh, tax audit seminar regularly conducted by the branch during september audit times and we uh, have uh, asked us whether tax audit is going to continue for long it's a big question mark it is like that either uh, we can't leave from other end even if government takes out uh, this tax audit it also it's uh, risky but here or here we can see very complicated compliance is very high very risky members do you take uh, especially younger generation newly qualified those take uh, job work up signature not so easy like earlier you have to take work as a we have to review thoroughly and we have to sign the amount of notices are coming it's huge for a small petty fees we cannot up to such a big risk my sincere advice is to you have to be very careful then don't take assignment only for signature review thoroughly and do your best and if you ask me whether risk and rewards are same absolutely no absolutely no very few firms and professionals charging reasonably for their efforts and knowledge rest rest of them it's a cutthroat competition they are not charging what they should have been charged for their time and efforts that they need to upskill at least charging and uh, regarding uh, new new class introduction 2017 class 44 introduced but uh, implemented this year there is lot of uh, issues is going on lot of discussion is happening whether we should abstain from reporting whether to report or not because the, the question of relevance also is right uh, so many places when it is not relevant in uh, gst act itself how we can comply in uh, tax audit nowadays uh, even department also is uh, taking advantage of tax audit report everything whatever possible they want to include and get it done from a chartered account that to certify by a chartered accountant and use it as a weapon for issuing their notices even lot of associations are uh, give a rep given a representation to abolish uh, class 44 but this time uh, whether it will happen or not how many will report or not out of reported how many they will correctly report that is a big uh, question mark it's like a million dollar question there is no extension also because considering july filing it is not extended means september filing is also not interest uh, ex get extended i can see members are not physically present because of uh, tight schedule of the tax audit maybe so so many other issues and uh, we have an excellent speakers uh, today's uh, session they'll guide us 
how to report, what to report, whether you have to say yes, just nil or not applicable classes, or we have to report something else. What is the important reporting aspects we need to do in our 3CD? There our senior members is going to guide us. With this, I don't take up uh, much time in uh, welcoming you all. Hope it's a learning, a happy learning session to you all. Thank you. Over to Pramod. Thank you, Chairman. Also, we have CAP Manohar Gupta, sir, as our chief guest today. I would like to take a privilege in introducing him. Of course, uh, for today's seminar, I think his experience does matter because he's seen the tax audits report from what clause it was until the building up 44 clauses till date. So I think he can give some insights on it in his uh, welcome, in, in his inaugural speech. I take the privilege in introducing P. Manohar Gupta, sir, who is a commerce and law graduate and a fellow member of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India. He has secured 48 rank in CA examination. He has worked with A. Ferguson and Chartered Accountants for about two and a half years from 1974 to 1976 in their audit department. He is uh, practicing as a senior partner of M Mrs. Daglia and Co. Chartered Accountants. He has wide exposure to corporate audits, including large PSUs, corporate advisory, due diligence, special audits under Income Tax Act, corporate taxation, and other related areas. He has vast experience in conducting various types of bank audits, such as statutory central audits for five terms, statutory bank audits, and concurrent audits, credit audits of various public sector banks, and audit of cooperative bank. He has presented technical papers on subjects relating to company law, accounting standards, bank audit, etc. organized by SISC Bangalore branch and other branches of ICI and also in Karnataka State Chartered Accountants Association and CP chapters and other various forums. His, he has addressed executive of State Bank of India and Punjab National Bank on topics relating to bank audit and Reserve Bank of India on accounting standards. He is a member of Financial Review Financial Reports Review Group of ICI. He is a technical reviewer QRB. He is also an expert reviewer in qualifiers and auditors report under SEBI. With this, I welcome you again, sir. Thank you, sir. Also, our first technical session will be handled by Guraj Acharya, sir. Uh, I would request our committee members, uh, com committee members here, Kavita, madam, to come on the dais and uh, give a brief introduction about, sir. Thank you, Pramod. Good morning, all. I take it as a honor to introduce uh, CAK Guruaraj Acharya, sir. Guruaraj Acharya hails from the temple town of Udupi, and he was brought up in the iron city of ba Ballari, and now he is settled in knowledge city of Bengaluru. Like the way in Canada, though, you know, uh, who one kade uttiya, dilla kade parimala pasir is the sir was born somewhere, and but then through his knowledge, he is known across the country. So he is a qualified chart accountant after completing articles under, he qualified as a chart accountant after completing his articles under Mrs. Guru, Ra, Guru Prasad and Co. Ballari. He is presently the senior partner of KG Acharya and Chartered Accountants Bangalore and specialist, uh, specializes in corporate finance, corporate tax and company law. He is a BCom graduate, ACMA, FCA. In all these three qualifications, he has secured uh, ranks. First rank in BCom, 21st rank in Inter-CA, a final uh, CA final he has secured 10th rank and in the inter uh, CA ICWAA inter he has secured first rank third rank in the final ICWAA wonderful sir I mean <laughs> I, I mean definitely it's a privilege to read it this itself thank you he, he is a director on the board of directors of Karnataka Bank was a director on the board of directors of State Bank of Mysore was a member of the Karnataka state level audit advisory board was co-opted member of expert advisory committee and committee on accounting standards for local uh, bodies set up by ICI in New Delhi. He was a member of Bangalore Financial Reporting Review Group formulated under the Financial Reporting Review Board of ICI in New Delhi. He has authored a book on uh, internal financial control, practical handbook on audit report, what can go wrong. This, is, this book was published by Karnataka State Chartered Accountants Association. He is a resource person on accounting standards and standards on auditing, Companies Act 2013 and, and LLP. 
he also uh, teaches uh, on corporate finance and financial analysis he gives speeches and technical sessions on corporate tax and tax audit welcome you sir thank you thank you kavita ma'am generally guraj acharya sir doesn't give me the privilege of introducing so today i think you took that privilege of course uh, we shall start the seminar by the uh, symbol of knowledge by the lighting of the lamp followed by the motor song of the ici i request uh, geeta madam also to join us on the dais and uh, kavita ma'am post lighting of lamp i request members to be raised for the motor song यशस्सुक्तु जागृति यशस्सुक्तु जागृति काम 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 शो thank you everyone now i request our uh, chief guest for today's seminar uh, cap manohar gupta sir to give our inaugural address chairman mr sinwas good friend rank acharya i was just uh, thinking that he is a guru raja acharya but today i came to know he is only we should a uh, right name it should be rank acharya mr pramod uh, madam geeta and all my professional colleagues physically present here and virtually present in front of the systems indeed it is my privilege to be here to share your thoughts on this uh, today's one day seminar on tax audit i do not want to dwell much on the subject because we have eminent speakers what the branch has selected 
so they will be dealing on the subject in a befitting manner i just want referring to our chairman's uh, initial remarks the concern about uh, clauses clause 44 i tell you this is uh, widely discussed among the professional colleagues uh, more so in uh, social media of course this is the concern class what for is a concern but one more clause people are forgetting equally dangerous clause class 30c class 30c both both class 30c and class 44 are become effective for the financial year march 22 of course class 30c will generally apply for the large business entities that is also equally dangerous what they say as the ssc entered into any impermissible tax avoidance contracts or arrangements during year very wide term impermissible tax avoidance contracts of course that is only limit is saving grace is the three crores monetary limit is there so that is also equally in this class so people will, i think uh, mr acharya will just uh, dwell on this uh, importance of this class also so again as mr chairman said uh, challenges are increasing in the profession i would say when i started my journey as an article clerk in early 70s rather 70s and one the issue was talked the auditors report in case of companies the opinion audit opinion was whether the financial statements show a true and correct view was there the true and correct view was switched over to true and fair view was started that was the topic because i didn't understand much of the significance of this change when i was an article clerk then mau karo 75 came and last 48 years of my professional experience i have not remember i don't remember even a single year where the profession has not experienced any new challenge challenges we are used to for challenges the challenges are increasing year on year and has staff to our professional our professional colleagues the the magnitude of challenge though increasing every one of us will feel oh this has come this year a new challenge how to deal with and all but we are dealing we have never failed in meeting our challenges that is the excellence of our profession one more point what i would just to see now for this financial year this year actually we are undergoing an acid test maybe the concentration of acid is too strong one side the new complex like companies act you say caro 2022 though it is said caro 2020 i call it as 2022 only because that is effective for this financial year 2022 tremendous challenges are there when our institute approached the mca officials when this is these are the challenges which are some of the classes are very very vague and it is not possible for a professional to certify either they rather i, I used to tell that the particular class whether the company is capable of meeting its financial obligations next one year that means we all of us we should leave the chart and say learn astrology that kind of uh, challenges were there 
But what M C F shells when the presentation was made? Okay, if that is a problem, is there? We will ask the management to declare in the balance sheet. So practically, what has happened? That has become additional burden on the profession. Though in paper book, it remains that management's responsibility for the financial statements leave the large corporates. Many of the small and medium-sized companies practically financial statements are prepared by the members. That means we have to take care of the financial statements. What disclosures we have to make, or what is the format onwards. At the same time, we have to take care what we have to give a report also. And the tax audit is no exception. In tax audit, what I mean, there is a controversy is there whether Form 3C D is the responsibility of the assessee or the responsibility of the tax auditor. Okay, let us leave the part what whose responsibility is there. Ultimate responsibility remains on the person who signs the tax audit report because we are. See the way basic difference between 3C P or 3C A and 3C D. In 3C D, we say that the figures and facts stated in the 3C A are proven correct. We will say. It is not generally what I mean. We have, we see profession. It is only just we consider that okay. We verify the. Data what is to be furnished in three C D and we just do away with that. I think that will be very risky, particularly for uh, non-corporate entities. Please note that we are carrying out audit. We are certifying the financial statements. In Form three C B is nothing but the audit report. We see the language between three C B and three C A. 3C A audit has been carried out on some other statute, which has made a made a reference. But 3C B, we are carrying out the audit first, and we are certifying the true and fairness of financial statements. Then next step is the we are certifying the data furnished in 3C D is true and correct. The first limb of the our function, many people they ignore. We just concentrate only with the first set of the form. A particular in 3C D. This is very just important aspect, uh, particular which you have to see. Then why I said this year the asset test throughout the country. I just inquired whenever I talk to friends across the say, other towns and cities in the country, everybody is facing the acute shortage of staff. Not only the article as clerks, the paid employees, either chartered accountants or semi-qualified accountants, or even for that matter, become graduates also in short supply. Not only with the, us, even with the business houses also, there is shortage of staff. Particular, I am talking of particular medium and small enterprises. They are not getting the profession. More and more people are depending on the freelance professionals, the part-time accountants and all like that. So virtually we are at the mercy of the, those people. This has become. So you can imagine the kind of risk we will be carrying while carrying out audits of this kind of artists. Another thing, when class 34A is another important aspect. Recently one of the issues which has come to my Notice an entity, the business houses carry just forward various loans and advances from the public, huge amount, thousands of crores. They have promised some returns in the form of maybe you may call it as interest or you may call it as a sharing of profit. 
TDS was not detected in 194A. A Singh officer has raised an issue why TDS has not been detected and also why you are not reported. They raised an issue and notice to the tax auditor. He has interpreted that this is the sharing of profit. So TDS will not attract it. This stand was not, not accepted by the department and they have referred the matter to disciplinary committee of the institute that the member has failed, failed to discharge his obligations in reporting that. I do not know what, what the status of the disciplinary committee is. So this is the kind of seriousness is involved in tax audits. Only my humble question advice to the professionals is that let us take proper care and do let us let us retain our professional values. Coming to the professional values, just Mr. Acharya was mentioning. He was mentioning he was telling that. <coughs> He was advising his children and all like that to don't to leave your personal your values, human values or professional values. Now the way the proper profession is going downward down in terms of the values, we can't imagine. Now we are equated to a civil contractors. You see the tenders, what are they calling for RFQs for professional works? It has become common practice that you have to buy the document and you have to give a performance guarantee or EMD. I know, really, this is surprising. The, what is the value, what is the recognition for the professional they are giving? I think a day, we can expect that a day for tax audit also, they say, government, they say either you should give a performance guarantee or a EMD for any additions made and all like that, which you have omitted to report. It may, it may come. <laughs> no, any, any, any document you see, no, any RFQ you see that, whether it's the public or private sector, they have started calling for a, you have to get, produce a performance guarantee or EMD. This is the fate of our profession now. I think uh, we must uh, seriously Think about this uh, status, how we should improve. So with these few words, I just uh, uh, give the thoughts to the members, how we should uh, get away with this kind of uh, situation. And uh, I once again thank the uh, Bangalore branch for giving me an opportunity to share my few thoughts with this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing your experiences. We shall have a small felicitation to our uh, chief guest of the day. So I request uh, Geeta Madam to join us on the dais and even our uh, committee member Kavita Madam to come on this stage. Thank you, sir.
definitely even in your busy schedule you definitely uh, grace this occasion and uh, you, i think you set the context right for this today's uh, seminar so i once again on behalf of bangalore branch of sisc i thank you once again sir for making it convenient to you